Good day, ma'am. Good day, classmates. Today, we're going to talk about Module 3 entitled Non-Digital and Digital Skills and Tools and Delivering Technology-Enhanced Lessons. But before that, let us make a short introduction about this topic. We all know that teaching becomes rewarding when learners uh, get engaged through any form of instructional materials that enhance the learning and capabilities in any field at school like enhancing their skills in academic art music and etc through the help of any strategy used in delivering instructional materials and when it is appropriately and properly used within the classroom students can get to know more about those activity and engage towards it. These instructional materials vary in many forms. It refers to conventional and non-digital tools like using chalkboards, writing boards that vary in many forms and shapes. But nowadays, we all know that lessons can be more relevant and engaging for learners as digital tools are integrated and by the use of technology. By the use of technology, we can easily access any platforms that can enhance our instructional materials and in delivering uh, towards the learners as we are in the middle of a pandemic. Hello, I am Margie P. Banyas and I am the first supporter of Group 3 and I'm going to report Lesson 1 and 2. Lesson 1 talks about development and use of non-digital or conventional instructional support materials and also the Lesson 2 is talks about select and use of tools for teaching and learning. Lesson 1, the content are diorama, nature table, writing board, flip chart, zigzag board, wall display, roof and pool display board, and also guidelines when designing conventional instructional materials. The development and use of non-digital and conventional materials helps us in facilitating and stimulating learning instructional materials towards learners. It helps them to showcase their talents and enhance their skills and capabilities that helps them to grow and add more new knowledge in everyday lives. Now what is Diorama? Diorama talks about how we are going to make the classroom creative and innovative because it is fun to build exciting scenes in a small space. Diorama are small scenes created of layers of materials all depicting a similar concepts or theme. They usually display a historical time period, nature table, or any fictional situation. Now let's talk about nature table. A table that contains object or any scenes related to the current session or upcoming festivals or a symbol of an ecosystem because children love to follow the natural changes that the world offers each month and classroom decoration reflect in this like this example uh, it shows about a nature table that has a any uh, right journals and different names on the display table. Writing board displays information with chalk and chalkboard or blackboard or special pens and whiteboard. Like this example, a chalkboard or a blackboard that can be used in delivering instructional materials such as writing visual aids in the classroom. There are suggestions in using writing board. First, keep the board clean. Second, use chalk or pens that contrast the background so that the students can see 
the information clearly and make things and drawing, drawings large enough to be seen from the back of the room and prepare complex drawing in advance if very complex an overhead transparency or 35 millimeters slide may be preferable underline headings and important or unfamiliar words for examples and do not talk while facing the board do not block the student's view of the board and stand aside when writing or drawing is completed allow sufficient time for students to copy the information from the board so those instructional materials or suggestions and using writing boards helps us to improve the quality of providing learning strategy flip chart talks about a large tablet or pad of paper usually on tripod or stand like this example as we can see it is a large pad of paper that is on a tripod and has a stand there are some suggestions in using flip chart first use wide tip pens or markers markers with narrow tips produce printing that is difficult to read so don't use markers with narrow tips and second print in black letters that are large enough to be read easily from the back of the room third use different color pens to provide contrast and this makes the pages visually attractive and easier to read fourth use headings boxes cartons and borders to improve the appearance of the page use bullets to delineate items on the page leave plenty of white space and avoid putting too much information on one page because crowded and poorly arranged information is distracting and difficult to read when pages are prepared in advance use every other page because if every page is used color will show through and make text difficult to read have masking tape available to put pages up around the room during brainstorming and problem solving activities to hide a portion of the page fold up the lower portion of the page and tape it when ready to reveal the information remove the tape and let the page draw and the important thing is face the student not the flip chart while talking zigzag board talks about a multi-board series of three or four rectangular boards as you can see this white board is the example of zigzag board that can easily to fold the other one is blackboard that also has a three dimensions and those examples depends on what to use them for now let's talk about wall display it is a collection of many different types of items and materials put up on a wall to make an interesting and informative display it is well known in classrooms such as displaying uh, you know information about the upcoming events or a birthday of each students and officers of students or missions and visions see these are the examples of wall display of what I've said it is most commonly used in inside the classroom or outside the classroom like in a wall freedom wall of school and etc roof and pool display board this kind of board display in valuable where there are few solid walls for displaying information this example in the other side it is a visual information that is pinned on the roof and the other side also talks about a information that is posted on the wall it is commonly seen in the classroom or on a freedom wall of the school like having a event such as acquaintance party foundation day and pe day now let's talk about the guidelines when designing conventional instructional materials number one unity use only one idea for each 
visual aid and include a headline. 2. Simplicity. Make ideas and relationship as simple and easy to recall and avoid cluttering a visual with too many words, numbers, or graphics. The audience should be able to grasp the concept in 10 to 15 seconds. 3. Legibility. Make letters big and readable for all the, in the audience. 4. Consistency. Use the same type style and art style. 5. Clarity. Avoid type that is too small to read and avoid all cups. Now let's move on to lesson 2. Select and use of ICT tools for teaching and learning. The content are using mobile phone and the QR code, using laptop and the infographics, and lastly, iPad or tablet and the online bulletin board introduction. The current system employ technologies by integrating ICT tools and implication in education and in instruction. ICT stands for Information and Communication Technology and this refers to various tools and devices or gadgets used in communicating, disseminating, creating, storing, and managing information. As we all know, uh, the use of ICT helps us in many ways, especially in these fields like providing uh, visual aids and more learning innovative and in facilitating learning strategy and provide instructional materials looking at the figure above ict integration in education allows ease of processing information effective accessibility to resources easy sharing of resources expression of creativity and effective collaboration all this are easily done using the gadgets you have in your pockets and backpacks such as cell phone, laptops, and any personal computer. Now let's talk about using mobile phone and the QR code. QR code it is a code that created by Japanese corporation Denso Wave in 1984, effectively and efficiently connecting the physical world with the electronic world. QR code stands for quick response. It allows the readers to decode the information at the high rate of speed. For example, this trace up, it is uh, one of the example in QR code in accessing information of an individual who are going to travel here in the Philippines in any airlines about encoding the information easily and like where you came from and what is your address and what is the, your city destination. You can easily read QR code through QR code scanner. Here's all you need to do. First, have a mobile phone with camera. Second, using mobile phone, download with from Play Store or App Store the QR code reader or scanner application. Choose an inappropriate QR code reader for your operating system whether iOS or Android. Once installed in your gadget, you can use it to read the codes. 3. Focus your camera on the code, click it, and the message will be revealed to you. Using laptop and the infographics. The infographics is another interesting tool to use in instruction. A visual representation or an image such as diagram chart or picture representing information or data. It is eye-catching and make use of a clear layout, attractive colors and use, and caricatures that provide a cohesive presentation of information. This is one of the example in making infographics using laptops or mobile phone. As you can see, it provides information and clearly out that is eye-catching and makes you interest and the information provided. There are many ways for which infographics can be used. Using infographics first to present survey data. Second, to simplify a complex concept. Third, to explain how something functions. Fourth, to compare. Fifth, to present 
interesting facts. Last topic, iPad or tablet and online bulletin board. Creativity and collaboration are fun. So, an online bulletin board is a way of presenting ideas with a twist and interest with no cost at all. You need, you're you just going to visit any website that is use an online bulletin board. And step one, step one, search for https colon slash slash padlet.com slash. Step two, sign up or log in using any of your social media accounts. Three, if you want to make your own, click make a padlet. A, you can choose start with a blank or pick a template. B, start making post by clicking the plus sign and c make your post as creative as you can by clicking modify and selecting your choice of color font theme and etc d you can now share your padlet or online bulletin board to your friends click share and f allow others to have access to it or you can share through the social media accounts where others can view it. Step 4. If you want to join someone's bulletin board, click join a Padlet. A. Enter the dialog box, the URL or of the Padlet you want to join. B. Start posting on your own friends or classmates Padlet by clicking the plus sign. That's all for today. Thank you for listening and watching.